Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is um, outside of medicine. Continue to read Psalm. Uh, I have finished the Psalm 138. I'm going to move on to Psalm 139. Since Psalm 139 is relatively long, so I'm just breaking into two videos. So I'm going to read Psalm 139 from the director of music of David, a psalm. O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. You have me in behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. So this is the first part of Psalm 139. Um, uh, um, so this is by David. From the director of music, a uh, psalm of David. Uh, we have read uh, since book two, I think. Uh, usually the book two start to collect the psalms not written by David, just some of them. But this one was by David. So um, uh, we do not know the circumstances, but we know the tone. The tone is uh, praise, how, with the fear, how wonderful is this God. Every corner, everywhere, just the, like a shadow, shadow of light to to follow him, isn't it? So, um, O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit, when I write. You perceive my thoughts from afar. Isn't that scary? Somebody per uh, perceive your thoughts from distance. Um, but this, is, like I said, is the, the, uh, the shadow of light uh, in David's view. Uh, he praises, he's not uh, cursing, uh, stay away from me, but he praises it and appreciates this shadow of light uh, to to know him from um, deep of his thought to what he's doing every day. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. So this is uh, uh, like a, how... Uh, perceptive is this God is to know where he's going and his way and um, and where he's, uh, he's going to lie down. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. Read the mind. This God, David believe, believed, can read his mind. Before he speaks to so this Lord, he believed, already know what he's going to sleep uh, speak. Um, so, yeah, you have me in, behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. So this is saying, again, saying that this God, David, believed is everywhere, before him, after him. And this hand, invisible hand, always be with him. And such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. I think this is uh, uh, imply the wisdom of the God know David or na David know knew about the God. I, I think it's really entangled if you think about that. And he said, such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. This means um, the intrinsic of wisdom uh, inside of this David's heart. But he uh, attribute that, he think that is from God. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? Sometimes you feel like uh, um, this God, like a shadow of light, always around David. He wants to 
uh, flee away from this, get a little moment of, uh, uh, without this Holy Spirit, like everybody else, get drunk, or get a party, get happy. It's similar as that situation. But he's not. He, um, even though he's drunk or he's partying, still this shadow of light is with him. Um, which is a good thing for him. Uh, he believes which is good for him because this God is what David believed. The holy of holiness and also um, beyond all the gods. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. So up and down, even heaven or hell, this God is around. Um, if I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I sit on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. So regardless, it's called shadow of dark, or shadow of light or shadow of dark, but it's, it's good for him, that's what he believed. He think, uh, if I rise um, with the wing, and, um, or if I'm going to the sea, you will be there, you will guide me to where I'm going. So this is a kind of, um, the, on top of those, uh, those feelings, like uh, everywhere um, around him, and he believes it's good. It's a, it's a, a guidance and a, a guidance. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. This is quoted. Surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. This is a quotation mark inside of a quotation mark. So this is what David said. If I say, surely the darkness will, be hi will hide me, the light become night around me. So this is trying to, uh, to uh, descend from the Holy Spirit into the world, in the dark, like everybody else, mingle in the dark, but still cannot escape from the God, the, the calling, from um, the holiness. The night will shine like the day, and the darkness is as light to you. So this is because this holiness is really not um, fit well with the earth. Uh, the dark is the light, and the light is the dark. So this is uh, opposite, opposite from the, uh, I think this refers to the evil of the earth. So this holiness of the God David believed is completely to protect him, fighting about, fighting against this um, ego or the darkness of human, the nature of the earth, the, the nature of created heart. So this is a, uh, so that's why what he always think this God is wonderful, always surround him. So this is the first part of Psalm one thirty nine. Um, uh, from this I really see the 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 faith on top of the praise. Uh, the praise. I mean, praising this God is so wonderful. Um, like a shadow light. I said, like a shadows always around. Um, without a a a, a single minute of um departing from him so which uh, which means he's holding this god tightly around him is the the belief so i'm going to stop here and uh, uh, hope that you can read interpret in your own way uh, thank you for watching i will see you next time